Hey friends, tonight we are going to be dining at a restaurant I have never dined at before. Il Molino New York Trotteria here at the Swan and Dolphin Resort. I've been told by many a people that the tiramisu is up there with Via Napoli and Epcot's and that one was my favorite so I decided it would be a cool night to just come out and do a little Italian dining review. Anywho's, let's go do this. Cool thing to point out though is if you wanted to come to any of these restaurants at the Swan and Dolphin, you can just park here and you don't need a reservation. You do have to pay to park, but if you do dine at any of the locations, they validate parking. And you can see Tower of Terrors right there. And we're gonna just be able to walk right on into the Swan and Dolphin. It's so beautiful here. And you can also see the boardwalk. You can walk to the boardwalk, it's like a two minute walk. Other than the tiramisu, I'm not too sure what else we're going to be getting to eat. I know we have some pasta and we have some pizza. So maybe we'll get, you know, chicken parm or spaghetti and meatballs. But at the same time, I do want to try the pizza, but I doubt it'll be as good as Via Napoli. That one right there is up there for me with the best pizza at Walt Disney World. El Molino along with Kimonos and Garden Grove is located in the Swan portion of the Swan and Dolphin Resort. On the Dolphin Resort side they have Shula's and then they have Todd English's Blue Zoo. Lots of dining options here though. After dinner I think we'll take a little walk to the boardwalk. It's beautiful to just explore Disney's boardwalk at night seeing all the lights and listening to the water like rush up against the side of the boardwalk is so amazing. I just love like the, the sights and sounds of the boardwalk. We're gonna walk into the lobby here. It's got one of those big fancy revolving doors though. I love these. You gotta make sure we don't get stuck in between them though. Whew. There we go. Welcome. <laughs> Fun fact, they actually do karaoke here at the Swan Hotel. And right now it's the only place in Walt Disney World that you can do karaoke. They're even doing it during the pandemic with special mic covers and special restrictions. And we've actually done it before. There is a video out there somewhere and it was a lot of fun. Here is El Molino, New York Trotteria. But if you guys recall, I think it was Thanksgiving. I had Thanksgiving dinner down here at the Garden Grove. And it's also the place I was telling you that they have karaoke at Kimonos. And that was very, very good. I checked in for our reservation, so they'll let me know when the table's ready. But I wanted to come outside and just take a quick look here because probably after we get done eating, it's gonna be dark out. And I just wanna show off the grounds a little bit before it gets dark, because it is so beautiful here. Straight across from us is the Dolphin Resort. And when we come out later, like I said, it's gonna be dark and all these trees are gonna have a really cool lighting effect to them. That's actually gonna go with some awesome music. I can't wait to show you. And then if you go right to the right, that takes you up to the boardwalk. Now it looks like our table is ready, so we're gonna head on in. But we do get to decide whether we wanna eat inside or outside. The outside looks nice, but I kinda like the indoor dining experience. This is the outdoor dining experience. I do like this. I like the lights. It's very pretty. It's very nice. This is probably a preferable seat, I would say. But it would be hard for me to film with the fountain right there because it's a loud, constant running noise. So we're going to actually dine inside. But if I was coming here without filming, I would want to eat out here. The restaurant itself has a cool New York vibe to it. So that's why I wore my fancy pinstripe fedora. I got fancy fedoras for all different occasions. I just like them. It has an open kitchen. That's I like a lot because then you get to see all the action happening. And the dining room is just a nice little dining room. I like the lights and the ceiling, the chairs. Very fancy. Now that we're at the table, I can take my mask off and relax a little bit. I like the music in here. It's got that good like Italian Goodfellas music happening. Really puts you in the mood. Looks like we have complimentary bread service and it's really awesome bread service look at this i think this is focaccia bread oh this is spicy focaccia bread so you get two different types of bread here and then of course your oil i can't wait to dive into that i mean that's that is fancy i was thinking about getting a nice italian beer but they don't have a big italian beer selection they do have a huge local craft selection i thought that was a little surprising because you would think you know what i mean it's an italian restaurant new york trotteria but a lot of cool florida like uh like craft beers 
take a look at the menu here, we've got a great selection of different pizzas and pastas, some soup, we got minestrone. I decided I wanted to do the pappardelle and I got meatballs with it, but also I got pizza. So we got the rustica pizza with pepperoni and then the pappardelle. And it's so cool because everything that they sell, you can get in half portions. So that way I can try two different things without breaking the bank, you know? All the pastas are served and available in half order portions and it's half the price. I'm excited to dive into this spicy focaccia, which she said they make in-house. This looks so good though, so we're going to try that first. Oh, it's soft, delicious. No joke right now, I can tell you, that is the best bread service at Walt Disney World, hands down. I love it. I love the spicy focaccia way better. I bet you this is pizza dough they use. So if they make this in house, like they're basically giving you pizza crust. I'm definitely gonna restrain from eating all that bread now because I wanna keep the bread and I wanna use it to like swipe up all the sauce later when I get my meal. That's the plan. And take a look at this. The food has arrived. Oh wow, this is perfect. Nice small half portions. This is a pepperdelli with uh, meatballs. They make the pasta in-house. The rustica pizza, pepperoni, they make this in-house in the dough. Then of course we've got the bread. Oh, this was so, so good. This is a lot of food, and that's what I was talking about. If I ended up getting the full portions of everything, there's no way I would be able to eat it. I had to do that at Via Napoli one time, and it was way too much food. And then also, some friends of mine sent me over a beer, and thank you to them. It's Hukuna Matata. Look at that, a tropical IPA. So I'm excited to try that as well. First things first, we're gonna have to try the pizza. Very nice crust, very light, fluffy. This is gonna be good. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Very good pizza. Not as good as Via Napoli or even Pizza Ponte, but very solid pizza. Crust is nice. Look at that undercarriage, a little bit of burntness there. I would definitely give it like a, a seven, eight, maybe. Yeah, this is very good. I, I do like it a lot. Now it's time to try the pasta and kudos to Il Milino because they brought me a spoon. Recently I ate at Tony's Town Square, which I know a lot of people have to say they hate Tony's Town Square. I'm not the biggest fan of it either, but they didn't bring me a spoon for my pasta. So how was I able to twirl? See, like you gotta kind of twirl that pasta, get a nice fold on there, you know? So I'm very excited for this. I'm even going with a whole meatball. That is so, so good. Wow. I don't even know if I can say that that might be my favorite dish, like spaghetti dish or pasta dish at Disney. I mean, this is, this is up there. The meatballs are on point. Lots of flavor, lots of seasoning. They're firm, they don't fall apart. I don't like meatballs that fall apart. Let me know in the comments, do you like your meatballs like that holds together or do you like them to fall apart? Because I've always thought like a meatball should be intact and when you bite into it, it's still like kind of in a ball shape. But you let me know in the comments which one you like better. And this is what I was talking about before. That's what you need right there. You gotta soak up all that sauce. Yeah. Clean the plate, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what my father-in-law does all the time. Yeah, that's yeah. the way. Look at that. It's like you're cleaning the plate. Yeah. It's like kind of like satisfying looking, isn't it? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Perfect. Also, I do want to point out this Hakuna Matata beer is very, very delicious. And look, there's like a tiki mug on it. Oh, I like it a lot. Now it's time for the tiramisu. And I'm excited because you know, I'm obsessed. And holy moly, here is the tiramisu. That has to be the best looking tiramisu I've ever seen. That is insane, isn't it? Look at the lady fingers in there. Oh, I cannot wait. I don't even wanna, I don't wanna cut into it. I, I kinda just wanna take it home like it is. I've been excited for this. A lot of people said you gotta try it, so here I am. That is good. I like it. 
Oh yeah, you can see all that coffee at the bottom there. Oh, much too good. Okay, the tiramisu is amazing, but I don't know if it's better than the Annapolis because there's different types of tiramisu. We talked about it before. There's a sweet, there's a savory, a cheesier one. This one is more creamy texture. Not too many ladyfinger cakes or espresso soaked cakes, but I really, really like it. And now for a little lemoncello to help digest. Oh, that's good. That's good. Much too good for children, I can say. <laughs> it has a little burn to it, too. And now I am stuffed. I have to say, I really, really enjoy that. It might be one of my favorite Italian restaurants here at Walt Disney World because the price point is phenomenal. I've got all that food uh, for $45, I believe. And I think that's like amazing because you got pasta, meatballs, pizza, tiramisu, and limoncello. The beer somebody actually bought for me, so thank you so much. That was very nice of you. And uh, yeah, you can't go wrong. 48 bucks plus the bread. Like that is a big meal. I mean, $48 is still expensive for one person, but I wanted to get other things to show you. I wanted to get multiple things to show you guys. So if you plan on going there, the entrees run from like 18 to $20, which isn't too bad. And you can always get half portions and that's half the price of what that is. So you can get like two portions and still get like $30 worth of food. So you can get like a pizza and a pasta dish for around 30 bucks. That's not bad at all. Now I want to take a quick walk over to the boardwalk. Definitely work off some of those calories and just enjoy because it's so beautiful here. The scenery is just amazing. Look at those birds up there. The sunset is on the other side of the dolphin, so we're not going to be able to see much of that. But it is just so amazing out right now. The cool thing is, is when you come to the Swan and Dolphin or the Boardwalk or any of these resorts, you kind of get all of them. So like you can literally walk from the Swan and Dolphin to the Boardwalk, Yacht Club, Beach Club, and it only takes minutes. And you can even walk to Epcot from here. And that probably takes about, I would say 13 minutes, 13 minutes and 30 seconds to be precise. See the sign here, it says Disney's Boardwalk, come to the show place of the shore. That sounds so fancy, doesn't it? In other boardwalk news, I hear they announced that the resort itself will be opening uh, in July. Right now, it's only Disney Vacation Club here, but the full resort's going to be opening soon. That's a good thing, so maybe Jelly Rolls will be making a return. Everybody loved Jelly Rolls. It was such a fun spot to hang out. Dueling pianos, nice drinks, really fun atmosphere, along with the Atlantic Dance Hall that hasn't opened yet. So it'd be nice to see one of those actually open up soon. Take a look at that sky though. Oh my lord, that is a definition of a cotton candy sky. If you guys wouldn't mind, I'd love to just sit back and watch the sky change colors a little bit. I'm sure we're not going to catch a full sunset, but just a little time lapse maybe. such a beautiful sunset I mean it's still like light out but I'm talking about that cotton candy sky I love it I love it when the sky is multiple colors you get a little pink a little blue <sighs> Florida sunsets are amazing and believe it or not that's the first time I've seen two boats taking off at the same time here look at that so awesome can you hear that boardwalk music going on right now so nice i'm telling you the water is at a kind of still pace it's not too like rough but man just sitting here and taking in the views it's so awesome maybe we'll take a quick walk through the screen door general store they always have good stuff in here to buy i got a uh abracadabra bar margarita glass just the other day that was really fancy here it looks like all those glasses I did buy are sold out already. They do have some boardwalk tumblers. And then this is a really fancy coffee mug. I mean, this is nice. It's like one of the nicest ones I've seen. A vacation sensation. $22, but I think it's beautiful. You can also get a boardwalk bathrobe. $74.99. And that's the good stuff. That's the good material, I tell you that. 
now I think we'll head back on over to Swan and Dolphin because I want to show you the really, really nice walkway in between the Swan and Dolphin, especially as it gets a little bit later and darker out. As we're walking back, you can see a little bit of Spaceship Earth peeping out from the corner there. It's just about turning into its night mode. So cool. Oh, you can see the lights, they're turning on right here. Oh, that's pretty. <gasps> this is really pretty. That is so cool. I can't wait to show you. I love it. It kind of reminds me of the Christmas trees or uh, Christmas time at Hollywood Studios on Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> Isn't it just so cool over here? The music's going with the lights and it's just a cool vibing area. I love it. And this leads all the way in to the dolphin side. Do, 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 do. I could probably spend hours hanging out here watching the lights and listening to the music, but I probably have to get going. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I had so much fun and I like to share these little food adventures. I don't feel like I'm a big food critic per se, but you know, I'd like to show you guys and let you decide. I'll show you what I think of it and uh, if you guys like it, then you'll probably like it. I mean, I'm a very picky eater. So like if you know people that are picky eaters, that's why, uh, you know, I think it goes well with me. I mean, there's a laundry list of things I would never eat until I started doing this and now I feel so adventurous. I mean, I just recently did a whole entire food adventure around World Showcase, like I said, and I tried uh, a restaurant in each country and basically forced myself to order something I wouldn't normally get just to expand my palate and it was the smartest decision I have ever did. Anywho's. I'm just rambling. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!